Judging by its name, it comes as no surprise that the Great Danif is a huge dog. This is a cross between the Great Dane and the Mastiff. When you crossbreed two large breeds, of course you only expect to end up with a hybrid that is gigantic. With one of the parent breed known for its courage and calmness and the other for its gentle and loving nature. You are probably going to get a hybrid that is generally affectionate and loyal to its human family. Well, here is everything that you need to know about the Great Dane Mastiff Mix. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. History and Origin of the Great Danif It would certainly be a great injustice not to shed some light on the origin of the Danif. The origin of the Great Dane Mastiff mix can be studied through tracing the history of the parent breeds separately. Therefore the only way to appreciate the origin of the Great Danif is to trace the lineage of both the Great Danif and the Mastiff. This is a very big dog, actually one of the largest dog breeds in the world that originated from Germany. This gigantic breed descended from large dog breeds such as the Irish Wolf, the Mastiff and also the Greyhound. With its lineage being traced back to ancient Greece in the 13th century BC, this breed was actually recognized as the Boarhound. It was around the 16th century that the Irish Wolfhound was crossed with the English Mastiff that resulted in the Great Dane. The Great Dane was bred mostly for big game hunting like the boar, deer and bears because of its large size. The Mastiff, also a very huge dog, is said to have descended from Central Asia. Since time immemorial, the Mastiff breed was kept for its hunting prowess, fighting because of its protective nature and guarding too due to its huge size. It was also a breed that was preferred when it comes to offering security to the nomads and traders who came from northern India. It was as a result of these long-distance trade travels that the breed came to spread to the rest of the world. The Physical Characteristics of the Danif When you look at the two parent breeds, it is not very hard to imagine what the hybrid would look like. As the saying goes, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Size, the Mastiff and the Great Dane can grow up to 30 inches. The Mastodane therefore is likely to grow approximately 30 to 34 inches. Weight, the parent breeds, the Mastiff and the Great Dane weigh at least 150 pounds each, although the Dane is a bit lighter than the Mastiff. The average weight of the Danif is therefore between 115 to 130 pounds. There have been records of some even weighing up to 210 pounds. Great Danif Lifespan The average number of years that your Mastodane will live is dependent on several factors. The Danif can live for at least 10 years on average. This is all dependent upon proper care and nutrition. However, just like most giant breeds, they don't live that long. The shortest number of years being anywhere between 5 to 6 years. Great Dane Mastiff Mix Grooming and Maintenance the Danif has a short coat, this also means that he doesn't shed much. You need to brush his coat once a week at least which will be enough to keep him spick and span. A kempt looking dog is always impressive to behold. Make sure to maintain his fur coat to prevent his hair from tangling. You can also remove weak and loose hair by brushing it regularly. Take time to bathe him at least twice a week, this will help to prevent parasites like fleas on your dog. You can also utilize deodorizing wipes to keep your dog clean in between baths. Remember to maintain a good dental hygiene as well. If your dog does not like a toothbrush in his mouth you can give him a raw bone to chew. It helps remove the plaque that is stuck in between his teeth. Physical Exercise Needs It is worthy to note that both the parent breeds of the Danif have below average exercise needs. This essentially translates to the amount that your Danif needs. You will only need to walk him for at least 30 minutes every day. This should be enough for your Mastodane, if you have the chance, you can do at least two 30-minute walks every day. Mental exercise is equally important as well, invest in interactive dog toys to help exercise your dog's brain. 
There are plenty of good quality interactive dog toys and puzzles that you can use to exercise your dog's brain. Obedience training. Dog training can be quite challenging, especially if you are doing it all on your own. The Great Dane and the Mastiff are both quite stubborn dogs to train. It is therefore natural that the Danif be equally challenging to train. Timing is everything when it comes to obedience training your Danif puppy. Training should begin immediately you bring your Mastodane puppy home. It is much easier to train your dog when he is still young and curious to learn about everything in his new environment. As the saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new trick. You may also seek the help of a professional dog trainer to help you train your Mastodane puppy which is a highly intelligent one. Simply begin your training sessions early enough. Make the sessions fun and short because your puppy doesn't have a very high concentration span. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.